Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Holston on the Money in Phoenix channel. So in today's video tutorial, I want to show you how simple it is to use like a PS2 controller or maybe like a PC USB controller to emulate the Xbox 360 game controller so you can use it with Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army. It's going to be a lot of good times. So what you do is just go to Google, type X360CE, enter. It's going to be the first... Um, link that comes up click on downloads and what I want you to do is basically download the latest version of the zip file which is this application file so just go ahead download it as a zip file extract it and extract that x360ce.exe into your bin folder under the sniper elite nazi zombie army game folder where the nza.exe is so we run it it's pretty simple so it says we don't have this particular INI file. Create it. Yes, that's fine. Do you want to create this DLL? Yes, that's fine. So we do that. And also, I'm using this uh, twin USB adapter, which allows you to connect your PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 controller to your computer. So that's what I'm using for this tutorial. But if you're using a USB controller of some other type, by all means, go ahead and do it. It will work. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just searching for settings for my particular adapter. It may or may not do it for your adapter. So if you do have it, go ahead, try to let it search for settings and click on finish and you're good to go. So I go to controller one and we see that everything's working. So I have, let me turn on my analog stick. So here's my analog. A, B, X, Y, L1, R1, L2, R2, push the button, select start, and we're good to go. So now I just click on save. And I can exit this, and I'm good to go. So all I do is run the nza.exe, and my PS2 controller will be instantly recognized within the game. So with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. All right, so here we are at the main menu of Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army. So here I am with my PS2 controller. So I'm pressing up, down here. So let's go to, I could do cooperative, but let's just do single player, because I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, find a game and then wait for the game to start and actually play with some people here. And once I'm in the game, I'll show you proof of, yeah, this is a PS2 controller, because you can tell how quickly I'm moving my guy and how quickly I'm moving my cursor, for example, to shoot these uh, ridiculous zombies here. And I'll show sure, um, Sure, I'll tell you what type of keys is what on here. So let's start the game. Press the A key or the X key, basically. So here's the movie. All right. So press um, R2 is like the scope. R2, um, sorry, L2 is the scope. R2 is the shoot. L1, you know, crouching, throw the grenades. Uh, you can use your arrow keys to basically select your weapons, select the the mines and stuff like that. Zerk circle is the crouch, you know. X is the reload. Actually, square. So, this is uh, my analog stick moving with the controller. And if you want to see the comparison versus, say, a keyboard and mouse, here's the keyboard and mouse. So, we can see that it's better accuracy. But hey, some guys want to use a controller, which is perfectly fine. And we know it's working because it says press X to hold to search dead bodies for searching for loot. So that is the tutorial in a nutshell. If you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.